Hello, my wonderful people. We bring you transparency today on what is currently trending at the presidential election petition tribunal. Today being Monday, the 5th of June, 2023, we bring you a CD hot. Today in court, as usual, His Excellency Mr. Gregory P2B is well represented in court. However, uh, some of the P2B counsels were not present in court today. Somebody like Awa Kalo and Dr. Livi Uzo, who were absent in court today, there is a speculations they may have attended other uh, election tribunal going on in different parts of Nigeria, especially that of Labour Party uh, going on in Lagos State against uh, Sawolu. Today, indeed, is our another interesting day labor party has emerged in the court today as usual with a lot more evidences and this time it is quite overwhelming like i've already pointed out it is getting crystal clear that labor party has prepared even before the tribunal commenced labor party was not only depending on the documents they were supposed to get from INEC as the electoral umpire that conducted the sham election of february 25th 2023 but they were also well prepared through their own sources getting documented evidences making them available waiting for the tribunal to commence as well as waiting for the electoral umpire INEC to provide them this document in order to cross check and uh, do matchmaking to be sure that it is this that the documents are the same therefore whatever evidences you see in court today is what INEC was able to deliver to the legal team of p2b as well as labor party and also at the same time what labor party and p2b's legal team have been able to gather up before the tribunal commence like i told you p2b is not a man that goes into a fight he will not finish and win p2b has contested elections that read him out in Anambra State from the year 2004-2005. He followed the tribunal until in 2006, P2B regained his stolen mandate from Chris Ngige. Therefore, Nigerians are watching with all curiosity, smiling deep down in their heart, waiting for that very day which, when P2B will reclaim his stolen mandate because the evidences are overwhelming. Therefore, if you're listening to me, if you're a Nigerian listening to me, if your state, if your state, your state of origin has not been mentioned as part of the documented evidences from Labour Party and P2B's legal team, know that INEG has not yet provided this document to P2B's legal team. Or that P2B and Labour Party is not contesting your state, probably, like, probably to say that there were not much rigging in your state. Before I proceed, there was an interesting moment at the presidential election petition tribunal today, which was raising a pointer to the victory of Mr. Gregory Pitobi, the presidential flag bearer of Labour Party. That may look like a speculation, but that is the reality of the entire processes i am talking about the 25 percent requirement in the fct the situation in the court started when tinubu's lawyer asked a question this situation this situation came up when uh, labor party and p2b's legal team pre presented the documented evidence of the elect presidential election results from now nasarawa state where labor party came first this was objected therefore in response to this tinubu's lawyer asked a question to Atiku's witness saying so do you want the court to reject the presidential election result from nasarawa state where labor party came first Atiku witness responded saying yes tinubu lawyer in response and in reaction to this asked why do you want the court to reject the result Atiku's witness responded because P2B and Labour Party can't come first in Nasarawa State. Tinubu's lawyer responded. Tinubu's lawyer responded. So where is the authentic result? The Atiku's witness responded saying that the, the original result is with the national agent. <laughs> this is really laughable. And similarly, another situation ensued where the INEC, the electoral umpire, asked the witness, represent, asked the PDP witness, do you realize, Mr. Man, that Atiku did not score 15%? in the fct the pdp witness responded saying yes Atiku did not score 15 percent INEC therefore in response in response said to the witness since Atiku did not score 25 percent in the fct do you know he cannot be declared president the witness in response to this statement of INEC 
so told Ireland categorically, but Tinubu did not score twenty five percent too, and you declared him president. Indeed, my fellow Nigerians, this is an own goal from INEC. INEC has simply scored an own goal. It is no longer a rumor and it is no longer a news that the man that was declared the president-elect that has just been sworn in was not constitutionally elected by the Nigerian people, by the majority of the Nigerian people. And he did not score the 25% requirement from federal capital territory. The good thing is that this whole process is currently being challenged at the tribunal and God's willing, the mandate of the people shall be restored from the tribunal and the rightful winner of the president presidential election will be declared and on that very day there will be joy across the 36 states of nigeria there will be happiness because nigerians will live with a leader who has the heart of a man a leader who believes in the rule of law a leader who believes in good governance a, a leader who believes in free speech and a leader who believes in using public fund for the public good of the people finally i wish to remind you that Labour Party and P2B councils have succeeded today in tendering new evidences across the following state. The Lego team have tendered evidences from Delta State comprising of 25 lo local governments. In the next sections of this broadcast, we will give you a detailed information about the local governments that are all presented in this documented evidence from Labour Party and P2B's council. Similarly, Labour Party and P2B have gone further to tender documented evidences from a Bonny state consisting of 13 local governments. As usual, APC and INEC continues to object all these documents, but afterwards, all these documents were happily admitted at the tribunal by the tribunal. Sequel to that, Labour Party and P2B Council went further to tender documented evidences as well for Nasarawa State comprising of 13 local governments. More so, P2B and Labour Party Council went further to tender documented evidences for Kaduna State com comprising of 23 local government areas. And as usual, INEC and APC continues to object this document. But in the end, all these documents were admitted by the tribunal. Before we wind down on this section, we wish to remind you that irrespective of the fact that Supreme Court dismissed PDP's pre-election petition tribunal against the double nomination of Kashim Shetima, the vice presidential candidate of All Progressive Congress, APM political party also has a similar case pending at the Court of Appeal with another hearing which has been scheduled to take place on the 9th of June. Similarly, Labour Party also has a similar case challenging the legitimacy of Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shetima over the fact that Bola, that Kashim Shetima had a double nomination as at the time he was contesting under APC as a vice presidential candidate to Bola Ahmed Tinubu but that of the Labour Party, but the but that the, but that of the Labour Party has not started yet, as we are expecting to commence hearing also on this very petition of Labour Party against Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shetima. No, in view of this, there is no need for doubt or panic, as we as Labour Party and P2B still has still have very interesting case in the court against the emergence of Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shetima. More so, P2B and Labour Party legal team went further to tender also documented evidences for Imo states consisting of 27 local government areas. INEC, as usual, objected this document, but they were later admitted into the court. My dear wonderful people of Nigerians who are curious to see a new Nigeria work under the leadership of His Excellency Mr. Gregory Pitobi, this is where we shall bring this section to an end and we hope to bring you the final summary of entire hearing of today at the presidential election petition tribunal being the 5th of june 2023 if you are coming across this channel for the very first time do not forget to like and share this video and do not forget to follow my channel inspired castro may god bless and keep you into their house <laughs> you're taking a video of me no, no, take, i don't take <laughs> We will not get, we will not get. What state is that? Nasarawa. Nasarawa. Put it there. Come, 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 come. Sokoto. Very important state. 
Is that the only thing inside there? There is no much offering. You see, we don't put much offering. Maybe you can help us with it. Into their house. You're taking a video of me. I don't take a video of you. Take a he said we will not get, we will not get. What state is that? Nasarawa. Put it there. Come, 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 come. Sokoto. Very important state. Is that the only thing inside it? There is no much offering. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. See, they don't put much of the movie, you can help us with that. <laughs>